Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the important terms used in the injection molding process and uh, here actually you can see the injection molding machine generally it is referred as IMM injection molding machine so this machine uh, having the four units like injection unit, mold unit, clamping unit and the control unit and uh, the material we use in this machine is in the granular form here you can see so there are small small granules are there so we are uh, pouring from uh, this side uh, sorry we are uh, uh, with the help of pooper we are adding uh, the granular materials we are uh, releasing from here and uh, uh, in the injection unit it will mold so the cost of this machine is actually very high uh, generally for a uh, uh, it is around uh, uh, 30 lakh 40 lakh 50 lakh 60 lakh like that is the range uh, for for this machine so the initial cost of this machine is uh, huge and uh, it comes under different varieties like uh, semi automated automatic fully automatic uh, uh, big size mold ca capacity injection molding small size mold capacity uh, 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 injection uh, molding uh, machine like uh, uh, with type of screw uh, so it comes in the different varieties so these injection ma machines having the different varieties so and here you can see the cross section of uh, this uh, machine where we have the screw reciprocating screw so this is the very important component in this injection molding machine so it will uh, Heat the material, uh, and compress the material, and uh, uh, it will inject the material in the mold unit. The next uh, very important uh, parameter in the injection molding process is the temperature and pressure. So these are the very crucial parameters because uh, the, the optimum temperature and pressure. So the correct temperature and pressure we need to maintain in the injection molding process because it affects on the plastic uh, uh, product uh, finishing uh, it it depends uh, means uh, uh, the defects of the product it depends on the uh, how you are maintaining the, the temperature and the pressure so if you want your product is uh, uh, defect free then you, uh, you need to maintain the proper temperature and pressure so different material having the different melting points and the different uh, uh, reaction with the temperature and the pressure so here you can see these are the important points you can note it down or you can take the screenshot okay so uh, regarding the temperature so uh, if you see the cooling rate of the plastic affect the crystallity of the molecular structure so here you can see the crystallized structure polycrystalline structure and amorphous structure so if your product is uh, cooler at uh, is uh, means uh, solidifying or the uh, cooling at a very high rate then the you can expect the amorphous structure in the product okay and if your product is uh, slowly cooling okay cool, slowly cooling then at that time you can expect the crystalline structure and the in the injection uh, in the injection unit so we need to maintain the proper temperature so that the material of the granular form is properly melted and it will compress so uh, the proper temperature we need to maintain it if the temperature is, temperature is too high so uh, that is uh, that is also not the good condition if temperature is too low that is also not the good condition so we need to maintain the proper temperature and also related with the pressures so injection pressure also we need to properly maintain so that we can uh, we can uh, uh, means uh, uh, molten material we can directly uh, flow into the mold cavity so injection pressure we need to maintain so that the complete cavity will fill so there will be no shortage of material in the mold cavity and we need to hold the material uh, at a proper pressure uh, for uh, a few duration means a, a short duration of time we need to hold that pressures after injecting the material so that holding pressure is also very important next one is a 
sprue runner and gate so sprue runner and gates are very important uh, they ensure that there will be the proper flow of material into the mold cavity so here you can see so after the injection so the material flow from uh, uh, this injection unit to the sprue and from sprue to the runner and then from runner to the this gate and from this gate to the mold cavity where we have the uh, shape of the plastic is uh, shape of the product so this cavity will fill with the material so here you can observe so here the size of the runner is higher compared to the gate because here the pressure is uh, low pressure here and here at the gate it will be the high pressure okay pressure will increase here so the material will inject at a uh, somewhat high pressure in the mold cavity so that it will fill properly with a good amount of pressure uh, increasing here at the gate position so there are the different types of gates uh, design different types of runner so uh, this is a very important like uh, the sprue runner and gates is comes in the uh, cavity side or you know, the stationary mold side and on the core side if you see on the sorry on the core side so there will be the ejector pins and uh, cooling line in the core side and uh, here you can see the single cavity mold uh, multi cavity mold and the family uh, family type of mold uh, so in the single cavity we can uh, uh, in one in one cycle time uh, or the one in one shot we can produce the only one part and in multi cavity we have a number of part we can produce in a one shot and in family mode we have the uh, different type of products in one shot we can create like here you can see this is one is a small this one is different this one is different so different products we can manufacture at the one shot and if you see the flow of material so from injection nozzle the material will transfer to the sprue and after that from sprue it will goes to the runner and from runner it goes to the gate and from gate it goes to the mold cavity so like this this is the uh, flow of material from injection nozzle to the mold cavity then the important uh, concept is a undercut so undercut is the uh, features which we can't pull uh, which we can't eject uh, from the mold because this molds if you see this is the feature it is a undercut so it will it will not come in the pulling direction if we pull this material if we pull this part from the mold so this part will stuck in the mold because it is you can see this is the inside material it will fill with the mold okay so here it will mold will come and this part is forming so you can't eject this part okay you can't eject this part because it will stuck in the mold because it, it will so in the pulling direction this is the undercut okay so for that purpose there are different techniques you need to uh, 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 I'll create the separate video for that so uh, you can remove this undercut by changing the uh, parting surface you can have the design change okay so likewise you can uh, you can remove this undercut you can avoid this undercut so that your design will be uh, will have the minimum uh, minimum uh, mold arrangements uh, okay so in the two half uh, generally try for the two half mold only so there will be avoid the lifter and the slider so here you can see this is the undercut because we if we in the it, it will it is in the not in the pulling direction if you open the mold this part will stuck so for that you, you can see here the material is removed from the bottom so that this bar this portion is come in the uh, in the uh, in the core side and above portion it will uh, uh, taken out from the uh, cavity side so likewise so in the two half core and cavity we can eject the, this part but this part will stuck in the mold so here you can see uh, uh, if your parts having the uh, internal undercuts then we can use the uh, lifter arrangements so lift lifter and the slider array these are the two mechanism uh, where we can remove the undercuts okay 
so uh, some designs like the undercuts we can remove in the lifter and the slider arrangements okay so we can uh, we can take uh, means these features also we can uh, manufacture this undercut also we can manufacture with the help of lifter and the slider so the internal undercuts like a recesses and the projection on the inside surface of the mold so at that time we use the lifters or lifter arrangements and if there are the some uh, uh, side side undercuts or the external undercuts so at that time we use the slider arrangements okay so these are the two mechanism where we can uh, manufacture the undercut also but generally uh, undercuts features are uh, always we need to try to avoid in the design so that we can uh, avoid this type of mechanism so these type of mechanism are complex okay but uh, if your designs require the those features so at that time we can use the lifter and the slider mechanism now come to the mold so mold mold is a uh, having the two parts one is a stationary mold and a, a movable mold like a cavity and the core core side mold so these molds are uh, uh, if you combine these two molds so from that there will be the inside cavity or the material cavity is there so the, that cavity will fill and the material will be uh, means the part will be manufactured so these molds are very important uh, for part manufacturing so this mold uh, both the molds contain the uh, cooling lines cooling channels and uh, the core side mold it contains the uh, ejector pins like that and the stationary side mold contains the sprue runners and gate systems okay so here uh, these parts okay so the required parts should have the good uh, amount of draft so that we can uh, easily eject from the uh, mold okay so here you can see the leader pin or the guide pin so these guide pins are uh, uh, important to align these two molds properly so it is very important uh, to align the mold properly so that there will be no shifting of the uh, uh, the part geometry okay so proper alignment is necessary here and here you can see uh, the cooling lines inside the mold and this type of cooling lines you can see here so this one is for your understanding so the cooling line it depends on the uh, type of the geometry of your uh, part so on the basis of that the cooling line is decided and mold is designed okay and the, here you can see these are the number of ejector pins coming out from the core side okay and these are the ejector marks on the final product uh, coming to the cycle time so cycle time is nothing but the uh, time required for to produce the one part so I am considering in a one shot we are producing one part so it is a time required to produce the part okay so here you can see most of the time we are spending on the cooling okay so like the mold is closed material is filled and from here the cooling is started from here cooling is started and we packed and hold that uh, uh, material hold that material and we allow part to cool and then we are ejecting so here generally for thin and small parts of uh, uh, almost in 10 seconds or 15 seconds uh, we can uh, uh, expect the uh, part final part so and for the large or thick parts uh, it will take around a 30 to 40 second so this is a very short duration within that short duration we can produce the part okay so this process is actually fully means uh, automated okay so in that case only we need the cooling time okay so like uh, injection and it will be the very fast process and here you can see these are the inserts so these are the brass inserts generally uh, these inserts are placed in the mold and uh, uh, placed in the mold and the material is flow material is flowing around this insert and it is taking the shape you can see here so this insert is placed in the board and the material around this one it is uh, uh, means uh, uh, holding this uh, insert so these inserts are used for fastening purpose 
or some uh, for assembly point of view if this part is meeting with uh, other parts or fastening with uh, uh, providing the strength in the fastening so it gives the good strength while fastening so generally in the plastic parts we use the bosses uh, for the uh, for the fastening and uh, we use the screw okay but if we need the more uh, strength at the mounting area so at that time you can use these fasteners or uh, I means sorry inserts okay so these inserts are generally uh, some like for in, in uh, inlet port outlet port for that purpose also you can place this type of insert sorry <clears throat> so i hope uh, uh, you got some informations about the general terms used in the injection molding so if you have any questions so you can comment in the comment uh, comment section and uh, thank you for watching this video see you in the next video